He's got an elite skill called 360 no scope hacks for his 4,000 what the fuck barbecue. Yeah, when the panel actually starts, when all the big stuff's coming out, I'm gonna mute myself and I'll just be typing in chat for you guys. And then after all the announcements, I'll be like, holy fuck, and then we can, then I'll discuss with my voice instead of my crazy fucking finger typing. Is that what the fuck is this? The fuck is this? The fuck is that? The fuck is that? The fuck is that? The fuck is that? The fuck is where? Second game on Twitch! Oh my god! Okay, look. Okay, good, I had the... I had the chat. That's not mine. Never mind! Nope, never mind. We're sleeping three hours, now I'm mad. Alright, muting myself. Hello, everybody! Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out today. And a huge thank you to anyone who woke up at the butt crack of dawn to wait in line. <laughs> it is so cool to see so many people in here. I mean, if I had to do a quick count, I would see that I think I just saw number 1,152 just walk in the door. Wow! 1,500 people fit in this theater. I feel like 1,500's worth some boom sticking, don't you? Yeah! What's even crazier is that there are currently tens of thousands of fans watching this theater live around the globe, broadcasting everywhere via Char the Magic of the Interwebs. <laughs> In theater audience, meet the internet. Internet, allow me to introduce you to the fans here in San Antonio. Quick find Wilson. Fine. All right, save it, save it, save it. We gotta save it for later. My name is Jennifer Hale. And, <laughs> and while my face may not be that familiar to many of you, some of you might recognize my voice just a teeny, teeny bit. <clears throat> I am Jenna, Queen of Kryta, Regent of Ascalon, Crusher of the Ogre Revolt. <laughs> of Queen Jenna since Guild Wars 2 launched in 2012. And time flies because it's 2015 and some changes are afoot. Since ArenaNet asked me to play host for this lovely event, I have been receiving some very cryptically worded emails using the code name HOT. First I thought it was spam. I mean all these emails with the subject line HOT. <laughs> but alas, we all know what HOT stands for now. Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns! What is I... it? What is it, you may ask? I'm not telling you. But we do have some very, very special guests here who will spill the beans in just a few minutes. And when those special guests do arrive, I expect all of you to greet them with the mighty roar of a boomstick orchestra. Now, we should probably rehearse that a couple of times, don't you think? Let's hear it. That's all right. Space, no space. You can do better. Come on, come on, come on. Let's hear it. Woo! That was very impressive. That was very impressive. Now that you know your responsibilities for the morning, sit back, relax, and take a few moments to soak in the ambiance. It is a reaction camera, Gunny. Okay, I guess there's nothing going on at the moment other than ambient music. Okay! Welcome to everyone who's joined since I muted myself for uh, Jennifer Hale. Stop tasing! All the tease! Tease! Ah! What a boom six and who cares? A boom six is a gun, Tempest. Can we swag? What's up? 
Rarak, scared! Yeah, Gilbert's Resort style is definitely, uh, definitely fantastic. The Pentally Fear. New login screen confirmed? Oh god, if they brought back our old login screen, I'd be fucking happy. Demo, where Demo Reacts is at? We see on YouTube people with all the other people. Uh, I don't know, Rugae, I don't know. I, I left them outside. I, I was so hyped that I forgot my overreactions outside in the cold. They're currently chilling at the moment. <clears throat> Roger and I have been basically what to give best you. Genki Art! Go to Vietnam Edition. <laughs> uh, let's see. Want the intel? They'll be giving the intel in, I think, like two minutes. It's okay, hype there! Supergama and Maguma Jungle confirmed. Yes! It was an absolute surprise, Supergama. An absolute surprise that we were going into Maguma Jungle. Because, you know, it's not like they said in game that we were going there or anything. Let's see. But yeah, with all the stuff with the, the pre show, um, I am considering going to PAX East, so if there's something big hype there, I might be there. Maybe. Maybe. I'm looking into plans for it. It's building hype properly. Exactly right, guy. Now maybe you shove you off that hype train. Come from, uh, what's up? Uh-oh. Yeah, I think that music's new, actually. I do like the heat Oh, it was so nice, Gago. It was so nice. Has Gilbert's review ever been on number two on Twitch before? I don't know. Oh boy. I'm gonna mute myself again when it starts. The hype. The hype. Yeah, Tempest, exactly. Far seen oppressive. Alright, here we go. Blue. Yes! It is about that time. Ready those boomsticks, but no noise yet. We need silence for dramatic effect. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a loud, out of control, and absolutely ape shit welcome to the president and founder of ArenaNet, Mike O'Brien! <laughs> Hello, well, thank you, everyone. Thank you, and thank you, Jennifer, our Queen Jenna. Yeah. We have such an exciting day today. Before we're done here, I hope that we will have made this a memorable day, not only for Guild Wars 2 fans, but for fans of MMOs everywhere. That's because today, I can finally tell you what we've been working on and where we're taking Guild Wars 2 next. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know how much is going on in the game, right? So, the Hub City Lion's Arch, it still lies in ruins. And thanks to our old friend Scarlet and her experiments with magical ley line energy, the Elder Dragon Mordramoth has awakened. Yes. Mordremoth, Mordremoth has already corrupted much of the Silvari race. And it just destroyed the packed fleet containing many of the heroes of Destiny's Edge. Mordremoth's power is growing. Its corruption is spreading. But we know where we can find the dragon. Deep in the heart of the Maguma jungle. And that's where we're going next. Yeah. Eleven days ago, at the cliffhanger ending for the season finale, Point of No Return, we hit you with a mysterious trailer and with the words, Heart of Thorns. And since then, you've been guessing. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? It's been a fun 11 days. All right, well, you know what? I think a lot of you nailed it. But the moment of truth is here. Yes. 
Yes. It's the moment of truth. Do you want to see for yourselves what Heart of Thorns means? Yeah. Yes. It's time. I give you Heart of Thorns. The journey of the hero is filled with trials. Trials of courage. Trials of loss. Trials of war. Each forging the hero in the fires of resolve, wisdom, and strength. Propelling them into the unknown. This journey never ends. The hero's journey is to become legend. Fucking hype! Ah! Ah! Okay, I'm gonna shut up again. Ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw was the world premiere of the first expansion pack for Guild Wars 2. That's right, we're here today to talk about an expansion pack. And before we're done on this stage, we will tell you about every major feature in that expansion pack. Hi. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of you have been on this journey with us for a while. Maybe since the launch of Guild Wars 2. Maybe before that. Yeah. Maybe going back to the manifesto video from 2010. Where we laid down the core values that we would build Guild Wars 2 on. And I want to go back there today as we talk about why it's so important that Heart of Thorns is the first expansion pack for Guild Wars 2. Now, I said to you back then, right from the beginning, 
I said we would make Guild Wars 2 the first truly dynamic living world, a world where you and your friends experience huge world-changing events as they happen all around you, rather than just reading about them from quest givers. Yes. Now, we built that into the base game, and then we amped it up through 40 living world releases since then. And do you think we took everything we knew about building huge, world-changing events and took it to the next level for Heart of Thorns? You better believe it, because the Maguma jungle is the most detailed and dynamic environment we've ever created. All right. Yes. I also said to you right from the beginning that we would make Guild Wars 2 the first truly social online world. A world where you, your friends, everyone around it, you're all in it together, working together, relying on each other, where you're always happy to see another player. Now, something magical happened. You, the Guild Wars 2 community, you took that one and you made it your own. Yes, and in the two years since the launch of Guild Wars 2, you have cemented your reputation as the single friendliest community in all of online gaming. Yes. Give yourselves a hand. I'm not crying, no. I'm stoked. You know something else we said from the beginning? We said that Guild Wars 2 would be the game where the journey is the reward. A game about the journey, and not another one of these endless gear treadmills. Now here we are, announcing the first expansion pack for Guild Wars 2. And I know when people announce an MMO expansion pack, they talk about what's the new tier of gear that we're introducing into the game. But you know what that does, right? That invalidates all the work that you put into your existing characters, that ramps up the power curve, leaving behind a wasteland of old content that's no longer challenging enough or rewarding enough to be worth playing. And is that what you want from Heart of Thorns? No! I thought you might say that. <laughs> all right. But let's talk about levels, because we're here announcing an expansion pack for an MMO. And it is very normal when announcing an expansion pack for an MMO to talk about what is the new level cap in this expansion. But you know, it's really not that different, right? Your existing investment in your gear, it is level 80 gear, right? And do you want us to say to you, now it's time to go earn some new level of gear? And again, ramp up the power curve, leaving behind all that old content that's no longer challenging enough or rewarding enough to be worth playing. Is that what you want? No! You're an audience that knows what you want. <laughs> all right, then I will commit to you. Your max level characters with your top tier gear today are still going to be your max level characters with your top tier gear tomorrow. Ah, the endless gear treadmill. It is such a cheap solution to a problem. But it is a solution. And I'll tell you what I do think that we owe you. I think you need new challenges that are way beyond anything that you've ever faced in Guild Wars 2 before. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. And how about not just the ultimate challenge, but the ultimate group challenge. Is that what you want? Yeah! I'll tell you something else. I think you need real character progression that you can keep using to evolve your characters long after your max level and long after you have the best gear in the game. What do you think? Yeah! Yes. Guild Wars 2's endgame character progression. Well, now you understand 
why we had to go build this expansion pack. This is what Heart of Thorns is all about. Deeper challenge and deeper progression. So, let's start with this. We built a comprehensive new progression system, Masteries. Masteries. All right. Now, this is conceptually simple. You're entering the jungle, and while you're there, you will master the skills and abilities that you need to succeed in the jungle. I'll give you an example. The jungle. The jungle is a hugely vertical environment. It's not like anything you have ever seen or dealt with in a game before. And you need to learn the abilities that you need to traverse an environment like that. And having done that, you'll get in there, you'll meet the allied races of the jungle, you'll train with them, you'll meet new creatures, new monsters with new abilities beyond anything you've had to deal with before, and you will master the skills and abilities you need to dispatch them. The jungle, it's a world unto itself. And the longer you're in the jungle, the more you will master the skills of the jungle. So that's where we start. Then, we can take masteries and build on top of that new group challenges, way beyond anything you've faced before, challenges that you would never be able to complete if you hadn't learned these new skills and abilities. But let's not stop there today. We're going to take that and we're going to layer on new profession specializations. Yes. Ooh. You and your friends can customize your existing professions in ways that you never could before. Let's keep going. Let's, let's layer on new guild support and new guild progression to make this the ultimate group challenge. Ooh. What you're going to see is that this all comes together. So it's not a collection of features, it is a comprehensive experience that is, again, all about deeper challenge and deeper progression than you've ever seen in Guild Wars 2 before. Yeah. I'll put it simply. Heart of Thorns is our new vision for character progression in Guild Wars 2. All right, in just a minute, Colin is going to come out on stage, and he's going to tell you about all these new systems in Heart of Thorns. Before I go, I want to take a moment and offer a deep, heartfelt thanks from all of us at ArenaNet to you, the Guild Wars 2 fans. We are awesome. dum ba dum bum bum ba dum We do this for you. You know, I always say Guild Wars 2 is the game about the journey. Well, there is no one that I would rather be on on this journey with than you, the Guild Wars 2 community. So thank you. It's gonna be so fucking high. Ah! There are no breaks in the hype train. Thank you. Now. Are you ready to go deeper into the heart of the Maguma jungle and learn about all the new systems in Heart of Thorns? Give us the deets, Colin. Give us the deets. Then please welcome the game director of Guild Wars 2, Colin Johansson. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the game director of Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns, Colin Johansson! Hi, Peroni. Go deeper, Nerf. I was expecting him to ride on in a little train with this face on it. Thank you. Thank you all for being here today, for waiting in line to come and be a part of this uh, really exciting day. Uh, thank you to everyone watching live on Twitch right now and joining us. Uh, I know some of you woke up early, some of you are still in your pajamas, some of you, you're getting ready for bed. We really appreciate you all coming to join us for this, uh, this really exciting day for Guild Wars 2. 
I've been waiting a long time to be able to walk up here on this stage and tell all of you, I'm about to tell you every major feature of our first expansion, Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns. Yes! Hi, Hype! We're living you right now! You're welcome. But before I do that... Uh, let's take a minute and just recap how we got to this point here today. So over the course of 40 Living World episodes, we've watched the living world of Tyria evolve and change. We've discovered new lands and watched as some that we love were destroyed. And through it all, we've experienced a truly living storyline and environment where the story of our game continued to progress and build. And all of those episodes were building towards this moment here today. And the final episode of season two, we witnessed the Durban Priory, the Vigil, the Order of Whispers, and the five major allied races board the packed ships as the fleet took flight to head to the jungle to hunt down, kill, and destroy the elder dragon Modramoth and its minions. As the fleet entered the jungle, the jungle came to life, and the Silvari race began to turn against them. They heard the call of Modramoth, and many of them joined with the dragon. And within a matter of minutes, the entire pack fleet was destroyed, torn out of the sky, and the remains of that fleet now rest across the top of the jungle. So all of us have lost our world's army. We've lost our great hope of destroying this elder dragon. And who's left? It's all of us here today in this room. It's all of you watching live on Twitch. Look around you. Someone sitting near you is probably going to be playing a dynamic event with you sometime soon. <laughs> all of you are going into the jungle. And with one step, we go into our very first feature, the heart of Maguma, the new area that we will get to explore in Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. Ooh. Now, as Mo said earlier, the maps in the heart of Maguma are some of the richest, deepest content experiences that we have ever built in Guild Wars 2. The game space is tremendous, the amount of space that you can play in. And the jungle is made up of three distinct biomes. The core, the jungle floor itself, the roots of the jungle that run deep beneath the jungle itself, and the canopy high above, where the remains of the packed fleet are scattered across the top of the jungle. You're going to get to go and explore all of these areas, from the very depths to the very top of the jungle. And as you explore, you'll find a secret that the last known good dragon, Glint, left hidden in the jungle for us, right as the story of Guild Wars 1 concluded. And now, hundreds of years later, we will go into the jungle and find that secret, and find Glint's legacy. We're going to discover a lot of other things in the jungle as well. As Mo said, a big focus for us is developing really challenging content for you to overcome. So we're going to be developing new types of content experiences that you'll find in the jungle, new challenges for you, new challenges for you and your groups and for your guild. And as we build to the point of the launch of the expansion, we'll come back and tell you about each of those in a lot more detail. You're going to find new rewards and achievements, new types of content to experience, new creatures, new civilizations. All of this awaits you inside the heart of Maguma. Now, the heart of Maguma is built with the same core philosophy that we applied to all of the content that we built for Guild Wars 2 from the very beginning. When you see another player, the game should be more fun. Everyone can res. Dynamic events change the world for everyone. You don't have to read quest text to decide what you're going to go do. You play in our world and are immersed in it and play along with everyone else. We think that experience is fundamentally one of the things that sets Guild Wars 2 apart. Yes. And we are taking that to the next level inside the heart of Maguma to make that experience even richer and better. So when you see another player, the experience is that much cooler. And we know we can do that because we have, you guys, the friendliest, most welcoming community in online gaming. We best community. So as we journey through the jungle, one of the things that we're going to need to do to overcome all these challenges that await us, to master the experience of the jungle, 
We're going to need new abilities. And so we come to our next feature, the mastery system. The mastery system is an account-based PVE progression system. As you progress through the jungle, it is available to every character that you have that is level 80. You will complete content and overcome challenges in the jungle that reward you with mastery points. What are some examples? As you complete elements of the story, you'll be rewarded with mastery points. As you reach hard to find and hard to reach locations, as you defeat incredible challenges and incredible group challenges, you will be rewarded with mastery points. As you complete exploring entire maps, you are rewarded with mastery points. As you complete challenging achievements that send you on great journeys across the jungle and beyond, you will be rewarded with mastery points. And you can spend these mastery points to purchase abilities that are available for every PvE character on your account. So you don't have to go through and progress every one of your characters over and over again. You do it once. This is all part of our no-grind philosophy for Guild Wars 2. So what kinds of things are the mastery system going to let you do? What can you master within the jungle? Well, our game offers a lot of deep, rich experiences and a lot of different things that players enjoy doing. So let's talk first about exploration. So picture for me a moment that's very common in Guild Wars 2 today. You're climbing to get to the highest point in a map. And in the jungle, that's a much higher point than you have ever been before. You're jumping, and you're climbing, and you're looking down, and every minute you're like, oh, I'm about to fall. No, nope, nope, you keep going. You get all the way to the very top, the top of the jungle, standing on the tip of the crashed, packed flagship. And what do we do in Guild Wars 2 when we get to the highest point in a map? <laughs> yes, we jump. And what follows is an epic journey to meet the ground, followed by a splat. And thankfully, because we have the friendliest community in online gaming, usually a swarm of players run out of nowhere. <laughs> I have no idea where they come from. I'm sure you've all had that experience. And suddenly, you're rezzed and brought back in the action. Because in Guild Wars 2, everyone can rez. Well, in Heart of Thorns, no more. When you jump from the highest point in the map, if you have spent mastery points, you will be able to master the ability to hang glide and leisurely fly. <laughs> As you spend more mastery points, you will get better at using your hang glider. You'll be able to ride gusts of wind across the map to reach hard to reach locations, to get higher up in the map, to find locations that you normally would never be able to get to. So hang gliding is an example of how the mastery system will allow you to master exploration within the jungle. Let's talk next about lore. Guild Wars 2 has an incredibly deep and rich lore and history, stretching back over a decade now. And we want to give people the opportunity to master the lore of the jungle itself. And so you'll be able to spend mastery points to learn to understand the languages of the civilizations deep within the jungle. And as you learn those languages, you're going to learn the history of those civilizations, the secrets of those civilizations, and access to hidden locations that those civilizations have buried away that only those who can speak and understand the language will be able to access. And that's an example of how our mastery system will allow you to master the lore of Guild Wars 2. So let's talk next about combat. Combat is a key component of the Guild Wars experience. It's action-based, it's exciting, it's cooperative. Players can put down fields and combo fields that you can come up and take advantage of. And so we want to build on that system, and we want to provide real, meaningful challenges and abilities in our mastery system to allow you to overcome those. So as you progress through the jungle, you're going to encounter new creatures, new bosses, and new types of group content that you have never seen before. And you're going to need abilities to survive against those battles, against those bosses, against that content. The mastery system will allow you to learn abilities that help you survive against, overcome, and defeat the creatures within the jungle, growing your ability to fight in combat in Guild Wars 2. Now, I'm not going to give too many details on this today. Between now and the launch of the expansion, we'll come back and tell you a lot more 
about the different types of abilities you'll be able to gain in combat through the mastery system. But know that this is the way that we're going to provide meaningful progression to all of your characters for PvE past level 80 within the jungle itself, and you'll be able to master combat using the mastery system. Finally, another example of something that you'll be able to master with the mastery system, something I think a lot of you love today if you're a Guild Wars 2 fan, is collecting, crafting, and building. It's a big component of Guild Wars 2. And when I think of mastering, crafting, and collecting, and building, I think legendary weapon is the ultimate version of, of crafting and collecting in Guild Wars 2. So there's one component to building a legendary that is the hardest component to that experience. Can you guys tell me what you think that is? Pre Did you say precursor? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. Yes. Okay. So uh, clearly, we need to do something about that. The mastery system will allow you to build out collections that send you on epic journeys across the world of Guild Wars 2 that once completed will reward you with precursor weapons to set you on your journey to building your legendary. I know some of you have been waiting a while to hear that one, so there you go. Uh, so on top of this, we're also going to be introducing brand new legendary weapons and brand new legendary precursors. All right, so the mastery system is a comprehensive PvE endgame progression system that builds on the pillars of Guild Wars 2. It builds on the no invalidating your hard work, on the no grind philosophy by being available to all your characters. And it complements the concept that the journey should be the goal in Guild Wars 2. As you progress through the system, the journey gets more fun instead of having to wait till you someday reach some mythical goal that everything becomes available to you. Instead, it's a system that constantly provides fun, excitement, and true meaningful progression. And you might be wondering, this system doesn't sound like it gives me skills or traits. What is Guild Wars 2 doing to give me those for my characters? Well. The answer to that question takes us to our next major feature of Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns, specializations. The specialization system will allow each profession to master a new specialization that grows that profession into something new, almost a secondary profession, if you will. So I could stop now and not tell you anything, and you guys could have to wait and find out. Or I could tell you one of them. What do you think? All right. OK. So as we go into the jungle, there is a rich druidic history within the jungle. And it is only fitting that rangers be able to learn and master the abilities of the druid within the jungle. And so rangers will be able to grow themselves to become a druid. And when they do so, they will have available to them, they can use the staff weapon, which a ranger could never use before. Along with that, when a ranger becomes a druid, they will have access to a new heal skill, a new elite skill, a new set of utility skills, and most importantly, new profession mechanics that fundamentally change the way the ranger plays if they turn into a druid. Yeah. So I'm going to tease you a little bit, because I really like to do that, with a part of one more specialization. You've all seen it before, if you've been following Living World Season 2, and you've been wondering, why does ArenaNet really like giving all these necromancers great swords? <laughs> and we have greatly enjoyed watching from a distance as you all debate why it is that they all get great swords and why Marjorie was learning how to use one. And the answer is we've known the necromancer specialization will allow necromancers to make use of the great sword weapon. So between now 
and the launch of the expansion, we're going to come back and tell you about each specialization available to all the professions that we didn't tell you about here today. So you're going to have to wait and ride that journey out. But we really look forward to coming back and telling you about each of them between now and the expansion's launch. <laughs> we're also not going to talk about when today either. You'll just have to wait and see when it's ready. Uh, so <laughs> you've got your druid. And you might be thinking to yourself, I'd like to start a new character. It's time for me to start anew. Or you might be thinking, I've never played Guild Wars 2 before. And when this new expansion comes out, I want to be starting on equal footing with everybody else. I want to make a new character that no one else has had before as well. And so we sat down and we talked about what is, what is the perfect thing that complements what we have today. And we have three light armored professions. And we have three medium armored professions. And there's only two heavy armor professions. There, I feel like something's missing. There's a hole. There's a gap that needed to be filled. And so our next feature for Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns is our brand new profession, the Revenant. All of my hype! And you all have seen The Revenant before, whether you realized it or not. Not long ago, in Living World Season 2, Ritlock went into the mist, chasing after his incredibly powerful ancient magical sword. And since then, we've seen images of Ritlock appear wearing a blindfold, such as this, wearing a new set of armor we've never seen before. And we haven't heard back from him since. Well, when our expansion launches, Ritlock will be returning as the very first Revenant, and he will be bringing with him the abilities to channel and control the powers of the myths. In combat, the Revenant, as a heavy armored profession, will be able to use the powers of the mist to channel its abilities into its weapon, as well as into its utility, heal, and elite skills. Now, the Revenant does something a little bit different. The Revenant channels the power of great legends from Guild Wars Pass and uses those to help power the skills it has available to it. So let's talk about some examples. King Jalus Iron Hammer. The Great Dwarf is one of the legends that the Revenant will be able to channel. And when channeling King Jalus, the powers and abilities of the Great Dwarves of years past will become available to the Revenant to use in combat and change its skills. The Demon Malix, buried at the heart of the Domain of Anguish, is available to the Revenant as a legend they can channel and power to control the power of conditions and use them in combat to defeat their enemies. These are just two examples of the legends that will be available to the Revenant. And between now and the release of the expansion, we will come back and tell you about each of the other legends and the abilities that come with them the Revenant will be able to channel to use to power its skills in combat. So you've got your Revenant. You're traveling through the jungle. You're gaining mastery points and building your characters. And you stop and think, I'm having a great time, but it's time for me to go kill another person. And please stick to just in the game. Uh, and luckily for you, Guild Wars 2 offers two fantastic PvP modes for you to do just that. So let's start first by talking about world versus world. <laughs> so for those of you who might not be familiar with world versus world, this is our epic large-scale PvP combat. This is hundreds of players fighting in giant battles for control of towers, castles, epic keep sieges with trebuchets and catapults firing, with armies running to gates to bash them down with battering rams, and entire hordes of siege golems marching to destroy keeps and take control of them. I guarantee you, if you have never seen this experience, you have to check it out. There's really nothing else like it. It is at an epic scale of PvP. And we want to grow that experience with Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. 
we want to take that concept of you being inside of an RTS game. You're a troop, you're the commander, you're a scout. You're literally experiencing what it feels like to be inside of an RTS. We want to make that even better. And so, our next major feature for Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns is our brand new world versus world borderland map that will be added to the borderland rotation. Rotation? The new Borderland is the most diverse world versus world map that we have ever built. It is one of the largest and deepest content experiences that you will find, period, in the game. Each keep has its own distinct theme, and holding the objectives around that keep provide abilities to the world that controls it. So defending and holding your objectives will become a much more important component of Guild Wars 2's world versus world experience. For example, you can see here, this is the Earth Keep. And if you control the shrines and locations near the Earth Keep, the Keep itself will literally raise up parts of the ground to defend itself when enemy armies assault. If you control the Fire Keep, magma pools will come available for your entire army to leap into and traverse through the map more quickly as they can jump between lava pools. Now, holding these objectives provides you with these abilities for your world, but we don't want to stop there and just give that concept to our new Borderland map. We want to fundamentally change the way that world versus world works so that when you battle so hard to take control of a major objective, if you fight for an hour to take Stone Mist Castle, keeping it should be important. Holding that objective should be a bigger part of victory in world versus world. So we're going to be making changes to the core world versus world experience. So holding objectives is a bigger part of victory across the board in all components of world versus world. So Guild Wars 2 has a second major component of PvP. And that is our competitive PvP. This is small teams, typically five on five, highly organized, competing against one another to prove who are the best players and best teams in the world. And we've had a lot of recent success with our competitive PvP mode. We recently held our first ever World Tournament Series Championship live in Beijing. It was broadcast live on television in China and broadcast globally on Twitch for everyone to watch and enjoy. Despite the successes, of competitive PvP, we feel like there's a lot of room for that to grow and become even more exciting. And so, we're going to be introducing to competitive PvP a brand new game mode called Stronghold. <laughs> now, Stronghold may sound a little familiar to some of you going back to the days of the original Guild Wars. It may sound a little bit like an evolution, maybe, of something that you once experienced. So what do you do in a stronghold map? Well, you and your team fight for control of supply. You spend supply to hire troops. And you and the troops that you hire assault the enemy stronghold. You destroy the gates to battle inside their stronghold. You find their guild lord. You kill their guild lord to win. Along the way, you're going to find heroes that you can win onto your side that join you and join the assault on the enemy stronghold to help you win and destroy their guild lord. So we feel like if we're going to give you this experience, this next step in what people might remember uh, from the original Guild Wars, there's another component that needs to come along with this game mode to provide the entire experience. And that's the ability to know which guild is the best at PvP in the world. So when you battle in our brand new Stronghold game mode, you're going to be able to form guild teams. Guild teams are teams of players that represent a specific guild, and they register on a guild leaderboard. And as they battle against one another, the guild teams move up the leaderboard so you can once and for all prove who are the best guilds in the world.
All right. So that's a component for guilds and PvP. But guilds make up such a core backbone of the entire Guild Wars 2 community. You know, when we talk about having the friendliest community in online gaming, a big component of that is because we have the friendliest guilds, the best guilds in online gaming that you'll ever find. And so we want to grow and add to that guild experience as part of Heart of Thorns. And that takes us to our final major feature of Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. I think you've all been waiting a long time to hear this one. Guild Halls. There are no brakes on the hype train! So what is a guild hall in Guild Wars 2? It seems like you guys might like that one a little bit. Uh, a guild hall in Guild Wars 2 is much more than what it's been in the past. A guild hall is not just a home for your guild. It's a place for you and your friends to gather, to organize, to host events. It's a guild place for you to build and progress your guild and to build and progress your guild hall. As you build out your guild hall, you and your guild members will be able to go on great adventures. You can organize to prepare for your guild missions and to go into the jungle to face the incredible new challenges that await you. These guild halls provide you with a home base for you to build and grow your guild for years to come and a core hub for your social community. And so in total, our new region, the Heart of Maguma. Our new progression system, the Mastery System. Our new specialization system, opening every profession up, a new way to grow and progress their profession. Our new profession, the Revenant. Our new world versus world borderland and fundamental changes to world versus world. Our new PvP game mode, Stronghold. And guild teams so that you can compete and prove who are the best guilds in the world. And finally, Guild Halls make up a comprehensive package that is our reimagining of where Guild Wars 2 can go in the future. All of these features make up a core experience that provides a deep, compelling growth to the world of Guild Wars 2. It answers fundamental questions of where Guild Wars 2 can go in the future and builds back to the core philosophy that we set out when we started to build Guild Wars 2 long ago. That is, that the journey should be the goal. And each of these features complements that. We cannot wait to take that journey with all of you. I want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you for being here today, for being a part of this. Thank you again to everyone watching live on stream. I know you now have more questions, hundreds of questions that you would like to ask. And between now and the launch of the expansion, we're going to give you all the details to all the questions that you could ever want to know. That <laughs> so Jennifer is going to come back out here in just a moment. And she's going to walk you guys back through where to go next to find out more about Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. Thank you all again so much, and we'll see you in game. How much is it going to cost? Welcome everyone who's joined the stream during this whole hype fest. That was a lot of information. I think Mo and Colin deserve the loudest boomstick you've got! Woo! Yes! When's it coming out? Well, that about does it for our presentation, everybody. Oh, but wait! There's always more. <laughs> if you want to relive anything you saw or heard today,
point your browsers to heartofthorns.guildwars2.com. That badass trailer for Heart of Thorns is up there right now, as well as plenty of HOT goodies. <laughs> Also, we are big fans of the social media conversation. I mean, come on, we're trending on Reddit this morning. <laughs> so don't forget to hashtag GW2HOT so we can all stay in the loop. And thank you. Thank you so much for spending your morning with us, or if you're on the other side of the globe, your afternoon or evening. And for those of you who are interested in a photo op, I'll be available for pics in the Q Hall past registration until like noon. So thank you so much, and I'm going to give the steering wheel over to our shoutcasters currently standing by on the live stream. Now, but before I do, would you like to watch that trailer one more time? Yeah. Oh, come on! The journey of the hero is filled with trials. Trials of courage. Trials of loss. Trials of war. Each forging the hero in the fires of resolve, wisdom, and strength. Propelling them into the unknown. This journey never ends. The hero's journey is to become legend. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. 
Okay, we speechless. We just watch that trailer again, and like the hairs on my arms are just <laughs> going. Oh my god! Goosebumps over here. Yeah, who who said engineer hammer? Yeah, potentially? yeah. He, he had little helicopters flying by him. He yeah. had like an engineer oh. outfit, and he was had a hammer in his hand. So. Fly, flying turrets? Yeah, he had little little flying yeah. helicopter oh. things. Here. <laughs> flying turrets! I wow. Love, I love that the revenant has the power of the mist, and it's so oh. appropriate that Ritlock comes back from the mist with oh, this yeah. new profession. It, I wonder How if Ritlock is going to be teaching kind of teaching us the new profession through through the story that's a good idea actually yeah, yeah. i couldn't believe that like i thought the specializations for every class was going to be it yeah, yeah, then yeah it, there was exactly. like a new class on top of that yeah then suddenly it's going to be very complicated for you pvp one. guys oh yeah we, we, we've got that's it exactly we're not even we talk about new class and we've got new weapons for each class yeah and, and how specialization you do that? Yeah. yeah and it's like the trait lines and everything's going to change and it's all righty so First, I'm gonna thank people who did follow while we were uh, watching the hype, getting super fucking hyped. Uh, Delhi, Kdat, Vierdag, Vidalent, or Vidalo Kent rather. Thank you follow before. Uh, Italians, Monrix, and I got Blitz. Thank you guys for the follows. Much appreciated. Um, and welcome to everyone who has joined during the the panel. Oh my God. Holy shit, the hype is so real. Okay, so, discussion time. Let me, uh, let me fix some stuff on the overlay so I can give you guys a bit more real estate. Don't need that, don't need that. I'm pretty much just gonna have my face. Uh, where is my Winamp frame? There it is. Okay. So, let me just catch up on some stuff real quick. Yeah, the for the post show is just it's it's basically just people. Um, oh, we already isn't that? Come on. The post show is basically just people like Jebro, Chronic. It's all those guys basically doing what we're about to do, which is discuss discuss about what we just saw, what what we think about the things that we have coming now that we have more info about them, stuff like that. Like it, the post show is basically what we're gonna do now. If you, it, it's all gonna be recorded, so if you're interested in what they have to say, you can check it out. It'll, it'll be on, I believe, the Guild Wars 2 official four or uh, official YouTube channel. I'm sure they'll all have it on their their channels, all that fun stuff. Um. So before we get into discussion, apparently we are at the uh, another hype mark, 15,000 follows for this stream, which means 24-hour 15k follow stream party bonanza thing. I'll start planning that. Um. Yep. We're at 15,000, so I'll give you guys an update on that when once I've got it all planned out. I'm not going to go into detail right now because it's time to, to talk about this. Um, get your Red Bull. But yes, I will be highlighting that portion. Actually, all of all of the, the, the panel stuff and this post discussion. I'm going to highlight all of it and put it on YouTube so anyone who missed it will be able to see it. I, I put out a, a little thing last night on YouTube talking about it, so... That will be there if you did miss any part of it or all of it. It'll be there. Um, oh, I'm with Dave Capra. I'm oh, holiday. It's driving me nuts too. Okay. Um, so let's see if we can get. Yeah. So we'll start with. Um, we'll just go in the order that they did stuff on uh, on the panel. Oh, okay. It goes like that. All right. So let's see. Say it really. I think it'll release like summer. That or like maybe end of spring. Last question stop. Or, let's see. Last question. Stop playing the living story stuff after going into the place after dry top. You miss a crowd ton. Should you have to go back and play this? Yes. I would recommend playing the stuff in Silver Age Boss. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of really cool stuff. In fact, that's where season two got a lot better. As far as I'm concerned, is the Silver Age stuff. So I checked that out for sure. Dinosaurs! Fucking dinosaurs, Icarus! Ah! Um, giveaway, all the giveaway stuff for the, for 15k, that's gonna happen during that stream. So, no giveaways right now, that's gonna be after I plan everything. But they will be big giveaways. Uh, let's see. Is that the rebuild game with DX12? <laughs> Red Kite, what's up? It's my no new race, but yeah, exactly. It doesn't necessarily mean there won't be one. There might, there might not be. Precursor price is dropping. Ooh, maybe it's perfect time for me to pick up mine. <laughs> um... I'm down for that throwing app. I love exploring new areas. Uh, down for exploring a new world of world PvP map. Mr. Pip Pip Boogum. Uh, new legendary is a real glitch. What's up, Boogum? Uh, 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Storm. Alright. Kind of catching some stuff. People are freaking out. Um, no. No level cap increase, Mike Saber. Thankfully. No level cap increase. Still 80. And there are new ways of progressing your character. You have... I have to make Necronauts in this No. I want to see what happens to Warrior. I want to see what our fucking specialist... Spe spec is... Ah! Um... Make it, yeah. We'll see, Red. We'll see. I know how much. I want to know how much too, Matthias. I imagine pricing and release date will be coming within the next few days. Maybe like Monday or something. Sooner than we welcome. We don't know. Um, we don't know what the prices. The big stuff would be announced here. Yeah, all the biggest stuff. Um, have you known, yeah, exactly, Bike Guy. Like MOBA slash RTS. All right, so let's let's actually start the discussion. So the first thing, mastery system. So it's basically. Can I click on this? No. So it's basically like, you have, this is their new form of progression at 80. This is a way for you to further build your character in terms of skills, um, capabilities, weapons, like, stuff to do. This is, I see this as them taking their collection system and then like, putting it on steroids. Uh, with, with like, new abilities, new, like, the precursors, all that fun stuff. Um, and for those who missed it, there are new, pre new legendaries coming out too. So fucking hyped. Special hype in Welcome, by the way. Uh, let's see. Raging was a welcome. Uh, Death Knight Spec Reaper Souls for Necro. Could be. Yeah. That could be what they give us. Warrior Speculation's Fist. They already own every melee. Daggers. Holiday Daggers. I think this is going to be similar to how the World World System is. Um... No, I don't think it will, Exotic. I think this is going to be a brand new system that is started completely, like, completely from the ground up. Um, or maybe not from the ground up, but, like, it, I don't think it'll be like the World of the World system. It could be. They are named similar. They, they could have just said, hey, these are called Masters. Let's call these Masters, too. We'll see. But I don't think it's going to be that similar to the World of the World system, Exotic. Evil Bifrice now! Hippie, what's up? Welcome. That was what I was thinking, Hippie. You you do have you do bring a good point. Uh Antonist, thank you for follow much. Appreciate it. you do have a good point. I was thinking that too during it. It's like, are these only gonna be active in the heart of Maguma? Or is it gonna be everywhere? I could see them going either way with it. We'll see that's that's a question that we're gonna have to get more more uh, info from them on, Hippie. Like, it could be, it could not be. If it is only in Heart of Maguma, it will be disappointing, but I can understand it. I would think they're probably not going to do that, because that, it's like cutting out half of their game, or whatever, um, with this new system. So I don't think they will, but there's a chance. There's a possibility. Saber, what's up, welcome. Stream guild hall, yeah! Yep. Wandering Art will have its own guild hall. I'll make sure of that. Multiple specs per class? I don't know, Ariat. I actually don't know. I, From what they were making it sound like... Actually, that, there's a section down here. Specializations. You'll not access to a weapon pre- Okay, it sounds like there's just one. There's only one specialization. However, that specialization adds a lot to the class. So, it sounds like- It looks like there's only gonna be one Aria, but it's gonna be big. It's gonna be a big deal. Staff Warriors Rodaro, yeah! Uh, let's see. Amarthas, they were actually talking during the panel how these new legendaries are gonna be- There's gonna be more to them. There's gonna be a lot more to them. Tearing the bark off heavily armored Mordrum. Uh, let's see. Guild group content over new dungeons. We'll see what happens. I'm I'm gonna I'm assuming we're gonna get dungeon content and raids and guild stuff. All all of it together. I that's my assumption, that's speculation, I can't say for sure. Dodge Patrick, you miss! Oh my god! Dodge Patrick, watch this hi watch the highlight I make of this entire thing. Holy shit. Ah, it's so much hype. Um, but yeah, once once we're done with all of the the discussion and whatnot, and I jump into some some gameplay for you guys, I'll uh I'll be highlighting or no, sorry, after the stream I'll be highlighting this portion and um, putting it on YouTube. So anyone who misses it or who did miss it, I'll throw it on there. Some flu, what's up, welcome? They didn't say anything about new dungeons. Think there will be new ones? I think there will be. Like they've got an entirely new area, and they didn't explicitly say no no dungeons. I I have a feeling with with um all the new Stuff in here. Um, ch tackle challenging group content. Let's see, new boss battles. Like there, it sounds like there could very well be. It's an entirely new like set of zones or zone or something. So I would assume there are dungeons involved. 
Oxnow, what's up? Welcome. When does it release? We don't know. We do not know. Spend a hollow welcome. Silver Solar welcome. Will the gliding mastery work everywhere? We don't know. They're going to give us more info as time goes on. We, eh, maybe, d -ray. Well, it depends on how they do their, their business model. Like, if everyone who currently has it gets it for free, I uh, will see. Mountain Dew Dew, what's up, Bugum? You just got the Hammer's new dungeon boss? Could see it. I think MG's gonna get Hammer's. Um, PB rate, yeah, could be AOP. Welcome, by the way. Let's see. Best Barista, what's up, Bugum? Great Sword Elementals? We don't know. The only previewed what? Necro and Ranger. Their specs. They didn't do anything with any other ones. We will be getting more info, guys, though, so don't don't worry. There will be more info coming. I wanna know about Warrior! Uh let's see. If you don't like the specialization, then you're doomed. Not really, Storm. I mean it's you don't have to go with spec. Uh first skill was yeah. Yeah, first skill was the expansion. Uh let's see. Kind of, we've never experienced. Yeah, there's that too, Max Saber, exactly. Yazo, what's up, Mr. Fucking Thing? I will be highlighting and putting it on YouTube, Yazo. So watch my YouTube after the stream. Um, is it going to be free? We don't know. Uh, Tina, we have no idea. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Um, can I get that webpage? Yes, it's probably, yep, people are already linking it. Um, okay, speed reading. Uh, Wolf, a lot of stuff. We're going to be discussing it right now. Um, so they can maintain hype. Greg, what's up, welcome? Precursor discount. Um, put your money on it, Gansy. Ziff, welcome. MK Split, welcome. Ranger's gonna use the rifles? Uh, it looks like staff, not rifle. Um, yeah, I don't know, Tina, but they'll... They'll give us more info. Will I still main warrior? Fuck yeah, DG. Of course. Welcome, by the way. Uh, what do you think was the weapon that Ridlock had in the trail? It looked like a staff with spikes and a spearhead, but not like a halberd. Any guesses? We'll see any. I'm surprised they didn't. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't announce a new weapon, considering how much they were teasing pole arms. Um. Oxno, thank you for follow. Much appreciated. Uh, here we'll um we'll pull up the trailer real quick for you guys, and we'll do like a we'll do like a frame by frame type thing. Um. Okay, mute you. Uh, hemophilia, what's up, welcome? We don't know that for sure, hemophilia. They didn't say there wasn't. Uh, let's see. No great sword earlier, I'll leave. Alright, so let's find spots that has stuff stuff worth looking at. Okay, so you got your new zone stuff. Like, this looks rife for new dungeons, new raids, everything. Like, just the way they have stuff structured in the zones and what we've seen of them, it looks like they could very easily put something in. Like a raid or, or several dungeons. Not good enough for your, not good for your body, family. Major the rifles makes most sense. I, I don't know because I mean, Greg, the uh, the spec they're putting in is druid, so it, it. I don't know. I think staff makes sense in that case. Uh, Jackal, welcome by the way. Arthur Kins, welcome. Yes, people actually still play this game. Yes. Uh, and did you get hammers? Uh, I mentioned later on. Ah, cool. Davis, welcome by the way. Don't mind the screen when I said expansion. Hi, every day. What's up, welcome? Give warrior spears. We might. Um, just catch him on chat real quick here. What is yet to be announced? Yeah, we don't. We have no idea what they have yet to come out with info on. Bit. What's up, welcome? Yeah, it was fit. Um. Um. You can look at. Oh wait, I put that away. Uh. I forgot. It's one of the house set songs. Previous one was uh, Lost Guy by K2. Um, what a day. Take my money. Hunter, what's up, Bogum? Let's see. Godzilla, what's up, Bogum? Yeah, I'm pumped too. You know what weapon Ellie's getting? No, we don't. Or at least I don't. Uh, yeah, they could, like, again, just because they announced, they didn't announce something at the panel doesn't mean there is there there's no chance of it coming. There could very well be new races. There could very well be new classes. Or, sorry, um, new weapons. Like, we don't know. They announced the massive shit. Um, does staff a new weapon type? No, staff's been around for a while, Glitch. Uh, I 
Uh, Tharkins, or Arthakins, if uh, you're here to stir up shit, you're more than welcome to leave. You you are entitled to your opinions, but if you're gonna be here to just stir up shit, you're uh, you're not exactly welcome. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see, what is the interest of the area showing the different levels? Uh, you're talking about... right here. Yeah, it's like some sort of door. Venturio, what's up, welcome? Yes, they did announce a new class, the Revenant. Let's see. Hey, Charlotte, welcome. Oh my god, Shatsy, what's up, welcome? So hyped! Cade, what's up, welcome? Yeah, well, I'm assuming they'll give us one soon. Uh, let's see. Calm down, Oku! Hype! Yeah, they're, like, they only had so much time at PAX. They wanted to get all of the, the things they absolutely wanted to let us know out. Um, Daredevil, what's up, Ogum? Not good for your body, Daredevil. No, they, they haven't announced that yet, Ventura. I would assume they'll do that very soon. Um, haven't played Gilbert soon. Your hype is real, though. Henry? Okay, yeah. Arthurkins was just looking for attention. Uh, let's see. Catch him a chat real quick. Keep a bitch. Uh, Red fan, what's up, Beckham? No, they haven't given us a real estate. Gojira, not yet. Is the door the tank guarding? Actually, yeah, it kind of does look like that. Nerf, what's up, welcome! Did you play a new expansion? Well, yes, I'm actually currently playing it. Um, with my guild, we are, uh, we just killed Imperator. Um, we're 7-7 seven seven on normal. Uh, let's see. Don't worry about him, Storm. He was just looking for attention. Um, the episode coming on YouTube. Uh, Yazo, are you talking about the trailer? The trailer's on Heart of Thorns at Guild Wars 2.com. Uh, let's see. How about the Mursat? Need validation? What about the Mursat? The Mursat are right here, it looks like. Hi, Mursat friends. Hi, Gary. Yeah, these guys look like... I, I didn't play Guild Wars 1, I don't know, but um, these guys look like Mursat. Just going by what I've gathered their their appearance to be. They have a new class everywhere! Six Bam, what's up, welcome? Want a new player of base? Uh, uh, CX Ben, we don't know for sure if they're they're not having that or not. Binbinator, what's up, welcome? Hype is up. Uh, Nukio, what's up, welcome? Don't wait till the I don't think it'll be that long, Nukio, because Anet typically doesn't talk about this stuff until they're like ready to ship. They've said so themselves. Um, serious weapon bound 135. Let's take a look here. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, that could very well be a pole arm. I could see that being a polearm. Solutio, what's up, Bogum? The theme song. Oh, of, uh, Hearthorns? Oh, Pens and Roses. Oh, yep. I saw the title there. GG, Solutio. Welcome to stream, by the way. J Man, welcome. Ah, uh, Revenant. That's what Ritlock is, apparently. Yeah, they definitely haven't told us everything. Expansion is not out yet, Yazzle. Uh, is this. No, it's not out. Casual Joker thing would fall. Much appreciated. Uh, and you're getting hammer hype. Could very well be. So the trailer. Why you know all these stuff? Yep. I don't know. They're teasing us, Dr. Patrick. No warrior stuff either. Uh, should you buy Gilbert Soup if you no friends to play with? Will you? Yes. Yes, you will, Rodgers. You will definitely able, be able to. For sure. Um, next Gilbert Soup show says 30th. Yeah, there could be more info then, too. Um... Yes, it's coming on YouTube as well. It is that is coming as well, Yazzo. Uh just ruined your weekend, Red Fan. Uh McFlores was a bugum. Is it that 95% came through? Yep. Fucking water now, Edo! Tien guy Let's say price out. I know. I'm well aware of it, Tien guy. Uh let's see. Looks like a skin to hammer. It could be. It could very well be. 
Here's, okay, here's the NG hammer hype. Like, look at this. That looks like an engineer with their specialization of what looks like drones. And they have a hammer. Dota Dota, what's up, welcome. Yeah, all of your, all the content, all the info is on that website that's being linked by Edo there. Dota Dota. Mess, what's up, welcome. Hi, no, they are not raising the level cap. Nope. So, uh, they are giving us more progression, but no level cap increase. Uh, let's see. By fast pointing. See. Yeah, Revenant does look pretty cool. Uh, kind of. I'm trying to keep up with you guys on the, on the chat. You assume we're getting any up in this trial. Yes. We'll probably if we if pole arms are gonna be a thing, warriors are probably getting it. That's probably gonna be our new weapon. Oh God, more turrets! Please, there. <laughs> What's up, Jester, by the way? But yeah, like, if you look at this clip, this is a clip that really caught my attention. See? It looks like NGs are indeed getting hammers. For their, for their specialization. Spawn, what's up? Welcome! Gonna get a great sword, that's Jeffrey Necro. New legendaries, yes! New legendaries. Wilson, what's up? Welcome! Oh god, yeah, Wilson. The hype is real. Let's see, what was the next clip? Next clip was more more Maguma jungle stuff. Like, look at this. That's a lot of verticality. If all of that is traversable, that's a lot of verticality. And that's just looks like one part of the zone. Or part of a zone. Th okay, this looks like a dun- Actually, yeah, this actually looks like a dungeon setting. Come to think of it. Because if you get, you've got a platform right here, you have a, a some sort of mob doing attacks in a pattern. Which is pretty indicative of boss stuff. The terrain, actually, it looks like it could be a dungeon. This looks like something I would expect from a dungeon, almost. Dragon Warrior for the win! Ah yeah! Vichy's. You're more edgy turrets? Yeah, little, there's like little drone things. Um, where's this NG? Like, if you look... Here, see? You got a little drone thing right there. They just kind of fly along next to the NG. Malfarian, mess my shield, boys. What's up, welcome there, Malfarian. And skill level new reverence, just like death noobs. Warrior focus, please. I know, McMidget. I want to know more about the warrior, but they haven't given us any more info. Um, over CGI movies to be That's fair enough. But this is this is gameplay. I mean, any thought about what guard will get? I don't even know what to think. Am I this? Um, much respect. Mark, what's up, Bogum? Man, just getting hammers is where Juggernaut medium armor will be chrome? Yes. Yep. It, the same effect will apply, Mark. You can fly! Like, talking about an interview? Uh oh. Uh oh. We're going back. Going back. Going back. I'm gonna hide this. Going back! Hemo Senpai, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. So apparently, they're talking about stuff in an interview? Or is the interview going on right now? We don't know. Where is... Maybe they're not. Is, the, is it going on right now? Or is it later? Is that when the uh, interview is happening? Um, uh, Tempest. They tweeted about it. Okay. So never mind. Never mind. Back we go. Uh, let's see. Abort, abort hype! Let's see. Could be Guardian Longbow, could be Guardian Shortbow. Jim Hooks, what's up, welcome? Yes, every class gets a new weapon. Yep. Is it free? We don't know. Or if we don't know the new, we don't know the info on the release date or the pricing yet. No need for new skills. The hate. Much happy. Xenobaro, what's up, welcome? Shield Mesmer, Kindy P. Kindy P. You. Finally get to create new builds, Milferian. Ah. Can you use glass outside? We don't know, Brick. I would have. My assumption is we will be able to use all the new mastery stuff anywhere in the game, but I we don't know for sure. Uh, let's see. Stronghold sounds like a leak stop. It does sound like that, Devil, and it's actually cool. I'm I'm down for that. That goosebumps sitting in the room when everyone was cheering. Yeah, Wilson. Uh, Logi, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Um, let's see. Let's see. Gotta get short bow, long bow, or rifle. 
Yeah, could be. A rifle? Hmm, a rifle guardian. Hmm. Yep, for those who don't know, Guild Wars 2 scale, uh, Guild Wars 2 sale going on right now is 10 bucks. You can actually click the link down below the stream and you'll go right there. Um It's under the supporting the stream tile or whatever. Epi was a bugum. Egg Negro best class, nobody when they wouldn't play anything else. Eh. That great sword though. Coming in roughly 15 minutes. Okay then. Well, how long ago was that tweet? Oh, stop. Stop, stop. We'll keep the NG type there. Okay. Time to cover here. Well, there's the questions. Oh, launch date. First off. Well, now it's a push that way when we can. Damn it. Um, 15 minutes doesn't mean 6 minutes. Okay, so we'll discuss for about... We'll go another five minutes, then we'll go back to the stream. Right now, I think it's their post show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing the they're doing the post show with Matt and all that. Okay, so we'll jump back on that in about five minutes. All right, Zalkeaton. Yeah, welcome to the stream, by the way. And yeah, it's def I definitely recommend checking it out again. Um, before double great sword warriors, that would be awesome. Yeah, I'd I'd take Titan's grip over a new weapon. Um, we don't, yeah, pricing, we don't know. We don't know what the, what the case is going to be. Stuff like that will probably be answered in that interview that's coming up. Um, so right on that side, oh, jeez, species. Um, those second freshes like Ranger Dude, will it be possible? Yes. I would assume yes, Mount Varian. It wouldn't make sense for it to not be. Uh, at least we're well, not when we can. I know, what a tease, Tempest, exactly. How do you get more character slots? You buy them off a gem shop. They're like... 800? Yeah, 800 gems. Um, let's see. Epic is so hype! You are, are you hype? Hype, hype, hype. Uh, let's see. You also need the base game. Yeah, let's check out that. Let's check out the frequently asked questions real quick. Uh, if I could click on something. That one. Okay, so. The song gets better, by the way. Um, it's not just. What? Shamison. Plucking. Um, anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, so. When will it launch? We'll announce when, fucking ain't it, tease. Uh, we'll, we'll announce the official launch when we can. Just check back on the website, whatever. Offering an early access beta. Yes, although we do not have details. Okay, so there will be a beta for this. It's expansion buy to play. It's a paid expansion Guild Wars 2, but once you buy it, there are no subscription fees. Okay, that, okay. You do need to own it to play the expansion. It's an expansion, not a standalone campaign. Okay, so you do need the base game I, as for pricing, we don't know what it is. Um, it could be you buy it, which would make sense. Like that's how they did it for Guild Wars One. It's as far as I can tell, it's a good business model. Um, Canix is up. Welcome. One-time payment. No details on how much. Yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. Canix. Welcome to stream, by the way. We paid. Frosties is up. Welcome. At least Guild Wars One, you buy expansion, gave you two thoughts. Who says they can't do that here, Frosties? You gotta take my money. That new dungeon, if that is, might require you to hang glide to do it. Maybe, Jester. Could be. I could see it. Uh, let's see. This, it's, what does it bring into the game? Uh, don't know how much yet. Uh, both, buy, both physical and digital copies will be available. Um, collector's edition, no info about it yet. When is the next big feature reveal for what's coming this expansion? The hard comes when it's ready about when we're ready to talk about every major feature we're planning. So right now, every major feature planned is there for you to check out. That said, there are so many details left to uncover and share with you to show you an adventure that you play as we take your journey from now through the launch. That right there says there's they're not done. They are definitely not done with everything. Hey, Dad, take my money, take my social life. Fair. Cool bomb. What's up, welcome? Uh, as far as we can tell, you have to buy it, Cola. But it's just like any expansion. But there's no sub fee or anything, so it's like. Also, we don't know how much it's gonna be. I'm I'm guessing somewhere between twenty and forty bucks. The Royal Hand Glide Ranger Assault Missions, Engineer Bombing Runs. Where are you reading this, any? Or are you just are you just hype, hype spamming or hype 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 gasming? That's the word. Hot 2017 confirmed. Ranger sounds interesting. Yeah. It does sound interesting. Um, basic con. Ah, uh, let's see. Could it be on the price end? Could be 40, yeah. 
It could be it could be 60. I mean, I could see it being 62, but probably I think 40 sounds about right. 40 seems like a a, a number that they've been sticking with. Oh yeah, I'm picking I'm going to pick up the game no matter what it costs. I'm going to pick up the expansion no matter what it costs cuz holy shit. Uh just made a Ranger Norn called Druid Dad and a certain energy called Heart of Thorns. Ah, you just snagged those names. Snagged the names rather. But had if it's under 150 bucks. Well, yeah, if it's like if it's 150 or more, then I'm like, what are you doing? But I don't think they'll do that. Yes, I will be playing Guild Wars 2 later, Red Fan. Uh, right now we're we're still in like hype mode. We're catching. Uh, there's gonna be an interview coming up in a few minutes on their uh, on their channel. So we'll check that out. New flirting with Keith. Yeah, could be any. Could be. Uh, let's see. I was a little cheaper to so see scaling prices, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. The pricing stuff will not even fall for us yet. Okay then. Uh, alrighty. There's a whole. I have. I'll check that later. Um. That WP face game. Can I have money with some welcome? It's going pretty good. Oh, Michael, what's up, welcome? Still worth. Yeah, still worth. Dude, did you watch the panel, Michael? Cause I'm a guy. Holy fuck. You're getting great swords. I told ya. Um, anyway, for those who don't know, Yoon is, uh, one of my real-life buddies. Really good friend. Um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Last time I hung over at his place, I'm like, dude, I think you're getting great swords. Uh, anyway. Don't care how many specs. One. We're having one. As far as we can tell, we're having one each, Lojin. Every class is getting one spec. But they, like, completely change how you play. Uh, we'll be able to play the base game if you haven't expanded about the expansion. Yes, Jimux, you will. Yep, for sure. Mr. Griu, what's up, welcome? Done hyping, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you ever stream WoW? Yes, nerf. Every Sunday at about 7 CST, I do my I stream my guild raids. Um, balance chains will be real when this comes out. Let's play Guild Wars 2. I, I, will, be, I will be playing Guild Wars 2 once all of, like the, the super crazy hype and pack stuff is done. So, um, we shall see... We'll be do There will be Guild Wars 2 gameplay today, don't worry. Um... Damn it! Well, here, let's let's see this um one potato space camera. Like there's there's all like a whole <laughs> set of dungeons. That GG, GG. Like no, no that them. WP face cam. So, all right, he's done that before. Uh oh shit! I wanted to. Damn it! Okay, so top of the hour it sounds like is when they're doing it. Uh, pause that. All right. Yeah, it's been a while, can't have, but welcome back. No, I have expansion. Yes, you will, Red Fan. You should be able to. Yep. Turn can go bark off. Honey bears, what's up? Welcome. In fact, he's gonna be the baseline. Yeah. That okay. Just because we're getting one at the start does not mean that's the only one we're ever getting. Like NGs with hammer spec. That's not necessarily the only spec that they'll get. That just means it's the first one. Um, cool craze. What's up? Welcome. Dual hand axe in the trailer. I did. I didn't. I didn't look at. I didn't see it. Cool, crazy. Maybe there was one though. Dem guild halls though. Epic. Yeah, that's right. Um, Labrador more wants some safari. They'll probably have more info on that. Um, are gonna have to get more skins. New legendaries. Uh, let's see. We ever see while you listen to me cover it? There you go. It's Mitch. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Um, the guild's fire. Red specialized will be like new. Yeah, it'll almost be like new professions. All right. It's weird, Mr. Guru, because it's going to be... It's going to basically completely change the way your profession plays. It's just going to be still that profession. So I think it's it's like new professions, but at the same time, it's still kind of within that theme. There is a new profession coming out, though, the Revenant. Um, that's... It's going to be like a... Um... It's hard to say. Let's see, where's, where's our friend Ritlock doing the, uh... Here we go. Like, this is stuff Revenant is going to be able to do. Like that shadow steppy kind of what the fuck. Let's see. Let's see if we can find more footage. Yeah, like right here. New profession. Uh, Revenant. And it didn't show us. They had more on the other one, but basically, yeah, new class too. Um, Jazam was a welcome. Think level up times are usable in the new class at start. Uh, yes, I would assume so, Frosty. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, I would assume they are, but I don't know. No more legs. We're gonna have to grind it all over again. Uh, 
By the way, the, um... Oh, the new legendaries are gonna be a bit more involved in this. They're not gonna be as much of a grind as from what I what I gather. Um, it's gonna be more of like a um, what's more called? It's gonna be more involving, more fun. Uh, so Andaris, well, you never know how the revenant's gonna play, Ryu. We don't know how it's gonna play. The Shiro move. Um, Shiro esque. Aha! Definitely getting revenant. Lord Master buddies. We found a thief with a rifle in vid. Could very well be. Precursor scavenger hunt! It's like precursor crafting type thing. Pain of waiting for the release dates. Skewed. No waypoints on Haragooga. We don't know. Uh, let's see if our friends have started up again. Damn it. Pause. Up. Go up. That's the ready up. Um. Check the Twitter. Check the tweets. The tweets and what's what's. So it's coming up in 15 minutes. Where? I guess top of the hour? When it's ready. <laughs> Otto, what's up? Welcome. I would assume this year, Otto, considering we like just started. Just started 2015. I've been playing Druid in a while, and Gilbert, she plays a range on the same name. I'm in the same now. It's gonna be Druid again with the same name. GG. Um, do you think the expo will drop around quarter three? Yeah, it could be. I'm I'm guessing. I could see it being August. I could see it being like May. One of those. I could see it being one of those. Love Revenant. Think a Ranger to a Druid is gonna be called Druid? It's gonna be Druid. It'll probably. Well, I don't know, actually, Killer. Might still be considered a Ranger, just Druid spec. Um, do the pain of waiting for this date. Uh, let's see. What are the new races? We don't know, Beast of Box. We don't even know if there are new races. They haven't said anything about new races. Um, they have not. They have neither confirmed nor denied that there are new races. Maybe which I I'm speculating here. This is discuss. This is what this stream is for. It's for discussion. Um, into how Dervish will be played. The only side of six dances for every god there is. Well, okay, Ryu, the revenant from what they said it from how they said it plays is it works based on legends. Like it, it draws on the power of legends. Yeah, like it There could very well be that same that same situation. Just with, with legends instead of gods. Sup, Sulfa, welcome. Alright, sounds good, Tempest. Thanks for hanging out during the, the craziness. Good main revenant. Until I see how it plays, I'm still sticking with the warrior. Yeah, take your Tempest. Thanks for hanging. No, yeah, we know we'll be encountering uh, Mursat for sure. Lost was up, welcome revenant. Oh my god, yes. Uh, let's see. What weapon do you want, my warrior? Uh, staff or dagger? I'd probably be happy with. Uh, revenant. I revenant. I need to try. No, there is no max increase, Goku, or no max level increase. Too much of stuff showed his concept rather than game. It, it could be AOP. Like, I... We don't know. We don't know. Alright, let's see. Are they back up on here? Let's check. Where's this... Where is the thing? Where is your interview? Why is your interview? There's... Nothing. There's no interview yet. Wait for life, Red Rad. What's up, welcome, Warrior for life? Yeah, Digger and Warrior, I'd be, I'd have a ton of fun with. Great, what we get? Yeah. Um, do I have its own? Yes, I would assume it does, Jacker. I would assume it does. Uh, all right, sounds good, uh, Mikael. I'll catch you on Destiny later. Yep, for sure. Well, we're, yeah, I'm curious too, Ryu. I've, they previewed Ranger and they teased Necro. And I'm sitting here like, Warrior! Warrior! I want to know about the Warrior! Whatever you Supposedly, they're... Okay, on Twitter, they said, down here, Keep tuned on our stream for an interview with Michael Bryan and Colin from Pack South in roughly 15 minutes. And that was 20 minutes ago. We're like, had a spear in that trailer. That he did. Kilroy Stone King. Hey, one, two, three, what's up? Welcome. Yeah, me too. Me too. 
Uh, Seal both nice warriors? <laughs> I can see it, though. What about Pistol Warrior? I'd, I'd be alright with a Pistol Warrior, but I mean, I don't know. It seems kind of off, theme-wise. Yeah, pretty much, right, guy? Pretty much. Those were about my exact words. You'll be able to watch the VOD later. Okay, so we got the Revenant. Guild Hall is coming. Wandering Order is going to have one of these. Um, From what I can tell, like, it, it's a guild progression type thing. But we don't really have the details on this. Like, this is interesting to me. This isn't, like, something like, Oh my god, the, the Guild Hall threat! Like, it's cool. I'm liking what it is. I'm just, I want to know more about it. This could be something really, 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 really useful for us, for Wandering Order. Or it could just be, you know, a cool little fun thing on the side. I don't know. We'll have to get more info on this. Cool. But, ah. We'll see. Pseudo Joe, welcome. Let me see, Abby said no new classes launched, but then decided to try. They didn't say no new classes. They said they would probably do races before classes plus. They never said that they weren't going to do no classes. Or that they were going to, they, they weren't going to do classes, sure. If you were gonna make a legendary, what would you wait? And do you think precursor? Yeah, precursor, dro precursor rates have already dropped, Otto. Like here. Let's take a look at uh, Guild Wars 2 Spider real quick. Supposedly the market is like crashing. We'll go dusk. Dusk. What was dusk before? Let's let's go um spark. Yeah, it's- they're dropping. They are dropping. This was easily like 1400 a few days ago. Yeah, they're- they're dropping. <laughs> Hello, Miss Ryu. Um... What effect this will have on our world world roaming? They did say new maps. And they said- they said rotation in there. I'm curious what they mean by Borderland rotation. Yeah, I lost, but I didn't play Guild Wars 1. So I- I don't know how those worked. Ding Bear approves. Chaxie, what's up? Welcome. Great sword. Uh, let's see. They did actually. Do oh, I gotcha. Fair enough. Um. But yeah, welcome to Chaxie. Tony, what's up? Welcome. Dusk was 14. Okay, yeah. See, they're 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 dropping. Um. Sir Hop, what's up? Welcome. Smash the hype. Uh, Sir Hop, welcome. If I didn't, I think I just did. But welcome. Um. Okay. So that's Guild Halls. Strong this uh yes please ah uh, this is gonna be fantastic okay so for everyone who's been coming around saying I wanna pe I like the game but I'm tired of conquest and blah 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 what they're doing with stronghold sounds absolutely fucking amazing. It's like RTS slash MOBA, which would fit perfectly well in Guild Wars 2 5v5. It's like Smite's already done this type of thing. And the only reason I didn't want to do Smite was because it's like, well, it's kind of like Guild Wars 2, just more restricted. This! Like, this I'm pumped for. This is... Oh my god, this is gonna be fantastic. Zerk Sam, what's up, welcome? Except for the final the $10 version. You have to actually click the $39.99 version. That's a good tip, Zerk Sam. Thank you for that. Thank you for the heads up. Foo, what's up, welcome? Time bomb, welcome. Want more PvP maps? They, that just because they announced a new game mode doesn't necessarily mean, um, or just yeah, just because they announced just the new game mode with one new map doesn't necessarily mean that's the only one. Damn it! What happened to this interview? Let's check new tweets. There are no new tweets. I'll trust because that's obviously fair. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just keep wait. Tweet. I guess there. We'll just wait for the tweet. Burn ambient theme music. Could it? Yeah, it could be. Exactly cool, Chris. Like, could very well be be getting one. Be getting Tengu as a race or something. Mukao, what's up? Welcome. Hype K out of nowhere. Called it. I. Actually, I don't know. I'm not sure what the numbers are. Maybe they are 5 and 5. Maybe they're more. This is real. Cox, what's up? Welcome. Yep, we do have the. Uh, well, I have that up. But yeah, there's a, a Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns fact um, site up as well. Uh, Oxicam, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, Cox, we already, we already did pull it up, um, let me find that here, these three, see right here, like, there's, there's some info to glean from here, Cox, but not, not really enough to satisfy anything, cause like, they haven't announced pricing, 
They haven't announced, um, whatchamacallit, they, they've got stuff about a beta here, they haven't announced anything for collector's edition, like, there's info, but not enough yet. Rippler, I quit some hype, 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 hype. I'm drunk, I am drunk on hype patient, exactly. By basic necessity, able to form GPG, 1 to 5 screams before guilds, other uh, basic things, chances are, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Lust, that's what I'm thinking too. Three eyes, three by three eyes, what's up, welcome. Ah, okay, so I guess it's, either way, it's cool. Stronghold looks like a really cool new game mode. Um, Ig, what's up, welcome. Yeah, do it, Ig. Pick it up now. Uh, let's see. Yep, new precursors, new legendaries, yep. I'm stoked for that. Just cried when he saw the trailer. Choxy, you're gonna want to check out the the reaction stuff. People got a kick out of my uh, my reactions to the trailer. Chris, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Um, I wanted to double the XP less. I would assume through the weekend, Progenic, until end of Sunday, if not Monday. Um, Zaitan's under corruption, which is larger minions and crits. Undead, more nightmares, foes. Blah. Uh, Tom Des was a welcome. Actually, no, I have. I'm sitting at like fifteen thousand ten, I think, Tom. Uh, I'm above 14.99. Welcome to the stream, by the way, little Tom. Bullfin, what's up, welcome? Yes, the, uh, for those who don't know, for those who are wondering, yes, the 15k follower mark has been hit. I will be doing a 24-hour stream and all that fun stuff, but that's later, that's not now. Right now is hype discussion, Heart of Thorns discussion. Um, maybe the, think about what they'll give Thief. I don't know if they would give Thieves great swords for you. That's a little out of theme. Melbook, what's up, welcome? Let's see. Let's there's no breaks, there's only hype. Uh, throw a tally on the hype train tracks. Um, okay. New Borderland. They said, okay, they said New Borderland that they're adding to the rotation. As soon as I said rotation, that, I'm like, what? They could be doing a thing where instead of having three identical Borderlands, they have, they alternate between this one they could be doing a thing where they, this is just speculation on my part, but they could do a thing where you have EB, and then they rotate between Edge of the Mist, maybe. They rot they rotate between this new Borderland and the, the current one we have, but that's the only other one. I don't know. Speculation? Maybe there's three of these? Actually, yeah, they said there were three of them. No. They said it was one that had three different areas, I think. I have to go back and watch the trailer, but this seems interesting. I'm I'm stoked for it because I love World of the World and I love roaming. This will be fun to learn the maps, but we'll have to see with this. I I I'm pumped for this, but I don't understand it enough yet. Let's see. What would we give thief? Probably rifle, or maybe offhand sword or something. If these turn to assassins with rifles, place goes out worse. <laughs> Is that a thief in a trailer with a rifle? Maybe? Uh, thief axe or mace? Yeah, I can see that too, Spawn. Talking of thieves' hammers. Ha! <laughs> but wait, what's up? New weapon for the alley? We don't know. We have no idea. We're start stockpiling all the things. Do something on Twitch stream. Alright. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, so it's on the it's on the actual pack stream. It sounds like. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bro, face, what's up? Welcome. Do you think it was will hit mainstream again and get into esports? Maybe. Oh, come on, Twitch, load. What the fuck? Urgh. Twitch is breaking. Where'd we go? There we are. There's. I don't see anything. I don't see anything on it. Um. Yeah, the actual Twitch Twitch. Yeah, I'm trying to get to it, but it's not loading. Uh, pictures are crashing. See, it's not even. It's not even loading. I, we can just go Twitch. Twitch. There. Live from Twitch booth. Guy in here for a new AS. Been doing work on hot. Yep. Okay. There. If you're tight, this is the trailer. There's the ranger. Uh, stop. I'll make myself smaller. 
Like this, this is the new trailer that they they showed at the at the panel itself. There's the revenant. That's that ability that I was trying to show you. Um, so is this the interview? Is this just them popping the trailer? Like we gotta see. Brock Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pack South. Okay. Yep. Here we go. 2015. Uh, I am your host, Man, from Man vs. Game. How's everybody doing? I'll, uh, I'll mute myself when they yes. start doing stuff. Can you feel the hype yeah. in the room? Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, we are here, of course, talking about Guild Wars 2. Uh, new expansion now. hype. Uh, I am joined by uh, Colin Johansson, uh, game director for Guild Wars 2, and Mike O'Brien, uh, a.k.a. Mo, yep. uh, co-founder and president of ArenaNet. Gentlemen, how's it going? Haha, <laughs> it's been an amazing morning. It has. Yeah, uh, yeah day two. Still just trying to keep the energy high because got another day uh, to go after all this. Uh, well, we just got out of a PAX theater presenting our new expansion pack for Guild Wars 2. And the reaction was amazing. You know, we had how many people watching on Twitch? Uh, yeah, 70,000 plus. 70,000. Uh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely amazing. Uh, which, and the, I just watched the trailer right there. Uh, it looks yeah. absolutely amazing. Now, you guys really played the, the reveal of this expansion, uh, like the announcement of this expansion, pretty, pretty close to uh, uh, the vest, as the saying goes. Uh, is, how long have you been working on uh, the, the expansion, and, and, uh, and why? why? Well, obviously we've been working on this a long time, and our fans know we've been working on something big, you know, but this is too important. We need to get this just right. Uh, and so, you know, around the office, of course, it's all been about looking forward to a day like today. Like, when can we talk about this? Oh, fans are gonna love this. Oh, I can't wait to talk about this. Exactly. You know, but for every feature in the expansion, we have, you know, we have experimented, we've done one version, we've done another version, we've tweaked and tweaked and tweaked until we got it just right for today. Sweet. Yeah, and now in your announcement, uh, you just said that uh, the, uh, this, this expansion is really like the first expansion worthy of Guild Wars 2. Um, I mean, what, what exactly did you mean by that? Is that? Well, this expansion is very fundamental to Guild Wars 2. Mm. And so this expansion uh, is all about bringing uh, much more challenging content, much more challenging group content, and deeper character progression to the game. So when I talk about the importance of us tweaking all these systems, making sure these all come together, this expansion, this is not a collection of different features that we're bringing to Guild Wars 2. This is one new experience that's all about very fundamentally what is the experience of character progression in Guild Wars 2. So we bring in with the expansion, we've got a brand new mastery system all about end game character progression. Uh, and then we tie in, we've got um, new profession specializations allowing people to customize existing professions like they never could before. You know, guild support, guild halls, making sure that it's the ultimate guild challenge in the game. So all these things really came together. So that's why I say, you know, this expansion pack, this is very fundamental. This is not a collection of features. This is a new experience for Guild Wars 2. Yeah, definitely. I know watching the trailer just now, uh, the thing that just caught my eye immediately was uh, talking about like guild halls. Yeah. Uh, I love that idea of being able to kind of like build uh, your headquarters, kind of for like your, your faction. Colin, what did, what did the fans think when you announced Guild Halls? Uh, yeah, people minute? went absolutely bananas when we said Guild Halls, which is great. Uh, you know, it's, it was a core feature of the original Guild Wars, uh, and it's something that we are taking to a whole nother level with Guild Wars 2. Uh, it really is, you know, a, a home that you can own and build and progress with you and your friends in your guild. So we're, we're really excited about what that's going to bring to our game. That is very cool. Because it is. It's like, you know, the, the, the world that you created in, in Guild Wars 2 is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, you know, not just the look of it, but also the soundtrack with Jeremy Soule. I mean, uh, love it. It's uh, absolutely beautiful. Um, but uh, the ability to finally kind of like, you know, make a, a homestead, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, establish like a headquarters in, in the game, uh, it seems very cool. Um, in terms of uh, the overall story, um, how does this new expansion uh, fit into the overall story of, of Guild Wars 2? Well, you know, we've, uh, we've been setting up this story moment and this announcement for the expansion really for, all, for almost two years now since the launch of Guild Wars 2 uh, through 40 of our Living World episodes, which is our free live updates that we regularly add to the game. Uh, and that storyline has been building up to this moment uh, that actually just just happened. Our final episode of season two of Our Living World uh, ended with basically the combined armies of the world gathering together on these airships 
and setting sail into the jungle to find and kill this giant elder dragon, wow. uh, Mordromoth. Wow. Uh, and as they entered the jungle, uh, literally the jungle comes alive and rips the entire fleet apart. Literally in like a matter of minutes, it's just gone. Uh, <laughs> and all the pieces of it just fall down into the tops of the jungle. Uh, and so where, where we pick up is basically the expansion kicks off literally minutes after that happens, where players are going to take their first step into the jungle just as the packed fleet has crashed. Uh, and they're going in to find the survivors, to hunt down and find this dragon and destroy it when an entire army couldn't. Uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much the premise of where we're going. Sounds fairly badass. Yeah. I just want to yeah. say I love the idea that you've been building up like with these chapters, uh, which again the the uh, like free updates, uh, you know, continuing the story along, so very cool. Something uh, with uh, your MMO in particular, uh, you know, no subscription fee or whatever. Uh, so having all these great updates uh, along the way. Uh, just so cool. Yeah, that's that's really kind of a core pillar of our experience, right? Is when we when we first put the game out, one of the things we said is we want to make a truly living, dynamic world, uh, and we did that through a content system with dynamic events where everybody is playing content together. Where when an event ends, it has meaning for everyone, uh, and then we tried to take that to another level by having this truly living storyline that progresses and builds. Uh, our capital city, Lion's Arch, literally is in ruins right now, destroyed. Mm through one of these living world stories that, uh, that nuked the entire capital. Uh, and we've discovered new lands as part of that journey as well. Uh, it's, it's been a, a really fun way to grow our world. Uh, and I think having it build to and set the table for an expansion, I think is a, a really exciting thing for our, our players in a way that you can experience an MMO. You get live content and you get expansions. All of that together is one cohesive narrative. Yeah, extremely cool. And it, and it keeps the world feeling alive, you know, like it's not just this stagnant, you know, stuck in time kind of thing. It's like, like you said, with the capital city being in ruins now, um, you know, you mentioned the players. Um, is this uh, your approach to this expansion? Is this kind of uh, like, is this an expansion for, you know, uh, you know, people who've been playing for a long while? Or is this is this also uh, would new players uh, have a chance to jump in right now? You know, this is this is a great expansion for everybody. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the features are things that you know our core audience are really excited about. Things like guild halls um, that are things that they've been asking for for a long time. Uh, a number of the features are things that players who originally played Guild Wars when we first released it said, "Hey, this was really fun." And the thing that would bring me back into the game or keep me here would be if you had X, Y, and Z. Uh, if you had meaningful progression and really challenging content to overcome. And that's exactly what this expansion is trying to provide, is really answer those, those questions uh, and provide a comprehensive experience for everything that we want Guild Wars 2 to be. Uh, and then from starting from brand new, it's a fantastic time for a new player. Uh, we are adding a new profession. Uh, and the day the expansion comes out, this new profession, the Revenant, no one will have it. No, every mm. person starts at level one. You're all on equal footing right from the beginning. Uh, and you can experience this entire world. And Guild Wars 2, you know, we like to say it's the friendliest online community. Uh, our players, you know, one of, one of the most popular words constantly said in Guild Wars 2 is thank you, or some form of TY, uh, mm. because all of the game systems are designed so when you encounter another player, the game is more fun. Uh, people can't steal your kills. You get shared loot when you kill things. Everyone can res. Players can combo off one another. Uh, content scales up, so the more players that show up, the more fun and more exciting it gets. Uh, fundamentally, that, that process, we think, is one of the things that makes it such an easy game to get into and fall in love with, is everyone who's playing is there to help you and make your experience more fun. Uh, and so if you come in at level one now, uh, it's a fantastic time. The game's 75% off right now, which is the cheapest it's ever been by far. Wow. Uh, and I think that's over the course of this weekend. Perfect time to get into it. Uh, and, you know, when the expansion comes out as well, between now and then, great chance to get in and play the game. Very cool. Yeah, I, I know that uh, in the time that I spent uh, running around uh, in Guild Wars 2, like you said, it's very, uh, just the way the game is designed. Uh, you know, uh, uh, people in the same area trying to do the same quest, you're actually working together. Yeah. And it's not, a, like you said, like, you know, the, you kill stealing and all of that going on, uh, which is very cool. However, now there's another aspect to Guild Wars 2 that um, uh, talking about like competitive sort of PvP um, is uh, what what can we expect with this new expansion uh, in terms of, of that that angle? Because some people they don't they have no time for this whole you know cooperative uh, yeah. you know you help me I'll help you kind of crap. They're just like I want to kill that guy. <laughs> well, if you if you want to be the best and prove it and kill everyone else, uh, we have two great game modes for that. Uh, one of them is World versus World, which is our epic, hundreds of players fighting at the same time, massive um, keep sieges, tower battles. It's, it's literally, it's like you're living inside an RTS and you're fighting as one of the troops in an RTS battle. Mm. You see catapults flying and trebuchets, guys battering down doors. It's, it's nuts. Uh, yeah. 
and we're taking that to the next level. We're adding a new Borderland map to that experience that's a larger map with more meaningful content than any other world versus world map we've ever done. Um, we're also going to turn the core rules of world versus world on their head a little bit uh, and make owning and holding objectives a much more important fundamental part of the world versus world experience. Um, so that's, that's one of our game modes and some of the work we're doing there. Uh, the other is our uh, small team competitive PvP. Uh, which has seen uh, tremendous growth for us recently. Uh, we, we just had a big championship in Beijing, China. Uh, it was broadcast live on television uh, and, and on Twitch.